Hello friends. This is our second video from the chapter fractions. So in this video, we'll see how to represent these fractions in pictorial form. So last video we have seen there are three types of fractions, proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed fraction. First, we'll see how to represent this proper fraction in pictorial form. Let's take an example 2 by 5. Here the numerator is 2 and the denominator is 5. So out of 5, 2 are selected. So let's draw a circle. Now divide a circle into 5 equal parts because the denominator is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 equal parts. Out of that, select any two. It is not compulsory that you have to select the adjacent two. You can select any two. So, there are five equal parts. Two parts are selected. Two by five means total we have five equal parts. Out of five equal parts, two parts are selected. Now, let's take another example, 3 by 7. So, 3 by 7, uh, let's draw another shape. I am going to draw a rectangle. Dividing this rectangle into 7 equal parts. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal parts. Now, out of the 7, 3 parts are selected. Okay, so I'm selecting any 3 you can select. So, this is the first one. Select the second one. Select the third one. So, there are 7 equal parts. Out of that, 3 parts are selected. So, that is 3 by 7. Let's take another example. 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is half, right? So, let's draw a shape. It would be a circle. Now, divide the circle into two equal parts. So, this is a semicircle. Out of that, select any one. If you are taking a rectangle or a square, it would be like this, half. Then select any one. So these two are examples for a half fraction, one by two. Okay, so this is how we represent proper fraction. Now we'll see how to represent mixed fraction. Example for mixed fraction is 1, 2 by 3. So here we have a whole number and a fractional number. Whole number means one whole is there and a fraction of 2 out of 3. Right? So if I am selecting a circle, one whole circle is there and in the second circle um, out of 3 equal parts. Hmm? So, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Out of 3 equal parts, 2 parts are selected. Okay. So, here also uh, we can divide this into 3 equal parts. Then, uh, out of this, all the 3 parts are selected. Here, only two parts out of three is selected. So this is one, that is one whole, and this is two by three. So this is how we represent a mixed fraction. Let's take another example. Three, five by six. So I'm going to draw another circle. 
three circles are whole circles then in the fourth circle six equal parts right so i'm going to divide all the circles into six equal parts they should be equal This is our fourth circle. This is also divided into four equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now out of this, three hole is selected. So first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. This is also hole. The circle is selected. The third one also whole circle is selected. Now in the fourth one, five out of six. Three, four, five. So this is one, this is one hole, this is one hole, this is five by six. So one plus one plus one, that is three, five by six. So this is how we represent mixed fraction in pictorial form. You can use a square or rectangle also to represent these diagrams. Okay, now let's see how to represent improper fraction in pictorial form. So, improper fraction means the numerator is bigger than the denominator, right? So, first what we can do is that convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay, so here it is 1, 1 by 4. Hmm? That means when 5 is divided by 4, we'll get 1 as the quotient, 1 as the remainder and 4 as the divisor okay like this 5 divided by 4 how many 4s are in 5 1 1 times 4 is equals to 4 then subtract 1 so 1 is the quotient then remainder 1 and the divisor 4 now it is easy to represent 1 1 by 4 in pictorial form we have a whole 1 and next circle it is divided into four equal parts. Here also we are dividing it into four equal parts. Now here one whole. So all the four parts are selected. Here only one out of four is selected. So this is how we represent five by four in picture represented. When you convert an improper fraction into mixed fraction, it will be easy to draw the diagram. It will be easy to understand the meaning of the fraction. Okay, let's take another example. Let it be 4 by 2. Okay, so 4 by 2 is like 2, right? 4 when divided by 2 you will get 2. So this is a whole number. So that means we have one whole circle and another whole circle. Right? So this is an example for a pictorial representation of 4 by 2. Let's take another example. 6 by 2 now, 6 by 2, how do you represent 6 by 2 in pictorial representation? How many times 2 in 6? So, that is 3. Hmm? So, 3 is, is the answer. Now, we can easily represent, draw 3 circles. And here we have no fractional part, right? So, select all the 3 parts. 
okay this is another method of of representing fraction now next take another example 7 by 2 here from uh, the fraction itself we know that there is a reminder hmm? so uh, how many times 2 in 7 it is 3 with a remainder 1 by 2 okay so the mixed representation of the improper fraction 7 by 2 is 3 1 by 2 okay how do you get this if you divide 7 by 2 you will get 3 as the quotient 6 and 1 as the remainder right so this is how we represent an improper fraction in a mixed fraction now three hole is here so one two three three hole okay then the fourth one is only half right so dividing into two equal parts dividing into two equal parts then in the first three whole parts are selected right three whole number is there so all parts are selected shaded selected then in the fourth circle only one out of two is selected so this is how we represent three one by two in pictorial representation so in this video we have seen how to represent proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction in pictorial representation i hope this video is clear for you thank you keep watching